Hey guys, Ned Delta Fan here today, and I'm going to be doing the very long awaited LAX uh, Mall Airport update for August 2013. I know it's the last week of August, I'm sorry that I haven't made this earlier, but I've been very busy. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna start off with the shout outs that I said I'd be doing in the beginning. And then I'll talk you through some other stuff, and then I'll get to the aircraft and everything. So the first shout out is going to go to WW Ryder Hardy. Um, he's a great guy, guys. You have to go check him out and subscribe to him. Uh, he has a great airport, but also he has a very um, he has some really cool airport foils, like custom made ones that he's made himself. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, you have to go subscribe to him, guys, check him out. I'll send an email out on Facebook, I mean, sorry, not Facebook, uh, YouTube, saying, um, like, to subscribe to his channel, I'll put the link in the, um, link in it, so you can subscribe to him. Anyway, the next shout-out goes to Jose Vega, um, great guy, great airport. Thanks for your support. Go check him out, guys, and subscribe to him, please. Um, next one, Gemma Jets AA1190. Um, thank you for your support and everything. You have a great airport and everything. Uh, next, big, next one is a pretty big one, uh, Dude 8472 Productions. Uh, thank you, mate, so much for your support and everything. I really, really appreciate it. Your videos are amazing, and thank you for all your positive comments and everything. So yeah, thank you very much. Uh, next one is uh, Boeing Spotter One. Um, thank you so much for your support and everything. Your videos are really cool. Thank you for everything. Next one, William O'Connor. Thank you for your support and everything, and your comments and all that stuff. Um, Next one, uh, CYUL Plane Spotter. Thank you for your support and everything. Your videos are amazing. Uh, thank you, uh, Monarch, Monarch Flyer. Thank you for your support. Great channel and everything. Airbus Fan 319. Thank you for your support. Uh, UA UA DLAA US Air. Uh, thank you so much for all your support and everything. Your videos are really cool. Um, so go check them out guys. Uh, next one, 787 uh, Budgrit. Uh, thank you for your support. And your videos are really cool. Next one, 99 Carnot. Thank you for all your support. Your videos are really cool. Um, then we have uh, OSX Boeing. Thank you for your support. And everything. Colin Chambers. Thank you for your support too. But your videos are really cool. I love he has a lot of rare videos there at um, uh, Greater Rochester Airport, uh, like the DC-9s and everything. So yeah, go check them out, guys. Um, next one, Gemini Jets SLC. Thank you for your support. Your airport's amazing. Too bad, it's, it, it's okay. I mean, I, it would have been nice if we met up, but you know what? It's something we can do next summer. We can meet up and go playing Swally next summer. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you for all your support and everything, um, really appreciate it, all right, um, then we have, uh, Gemini Jets 107, thank you for your support, everything, uh, Gemini Jets 31, thank you for your support, uh, Air Canada Models, thank you for your support also, Simon PYUL, thank you for your support and everything, uh, Tai Sohei, thanks for your support. Uh, Star Alliance Man uh, 839, thank you for your support. Um, have a great channel. Uh, Lepter 70, thank you for your support and everything. Uh, USA, yeah, USA Spotter, thank you for your support. And last but not least, Shepard 595, thank you very much for your support. You're a great guy, you have a great channel and everything. Um, so yeah, uh, I am in the G. Just so you know, guys, I am the I am in the GWA Golden Wing Alliance. I don't have a route uh, yet, but hopefully I will get one soon. 
between JetBlue 595's airport and mine. So yeah. Anyway, uh, that those are the shoutouts. Thank you guys all so much for over 300, almost 360 now. Thank you guys all so much. I can imagine I'll be at uh, 400 in no time. So yeah. Okay, here's how it's gonna go from now, guys. Um, I just want to let you know, I have flight numbers and the schedule, like the everything written, uh, typed up. So I have flight numbers and everything. Um, cargo is gonna be first, then I move on to the terminals and everything. Then I'll do aircraft taxi and whatever and take off. Um, just to let you know, uh, with terminal one, which I call it one. Half of the terminal, like this side is terminal one, and this side is terminal two. One reason I did that is because like Virgin Atlantic and Air New Zealand and stuff don't go to the Tom Radley International Terminal. They come to terminal two, so I decided, okay, I'll just use this as terminal two, and that side is terminal one. And then this area here will be terminal one, two. The Hawaiian is only there because the other Hawaiians at that gate, so yeah. Alright, let's get started. Uh, UPS MD11 uh, came in from just pulling into the gate from Louisville as flight uh, 904. Um, then it will be heading back out there to Louisville as uh, flight uh, 903 in about two hours, I'd say. Uh, China Airlines 747 450th anniversary delivery uh, car China Airlines cargo yeah uh, just coming from Taipei you can see it's unknown and everything I'll be heading back out to Taipei don't have a flight number for this guy sorry uh, Cathay Pacific cargo 748 just sitting there came in from uh, Miami as flight 75 and we'll be heading out to Anchorage as flight 75 later. But it just has some time to uh, sit there and the rest. <laughs> it's just resting right now. There's nothing going on. So yeah, but it'll, it'll, but it'll start, the action will start up and it'll start loading up and everything soon. Um, then we're going to go over, let's, then we're going to go over to the Hawaii and Alaska area. Hawaiian. 763 with winglets uh, come in, uh, came in from Kahilu, Kahili, uh, Kahi, Kahili, as a uh, flight uh, 34 and be heading out back out to there as flight uh, 33 soon. Uh, Alaska Airlines 738, uh, Salmon 37 or Thirsty Salmon plane. Uh, this is coming from uh, Portland as flight 3538 and Alaska Airlines 738, uh, AlaskaAir.com livery uh, going out to Los Cabos as flight 228. Los Cabos is in Mexico just to let you know. Then we're going to go over here to US Air on the Southwest. Um, yes, I have a Southwest guys. Uh, all right, U.S. Airways. Uh, let's turn this around. Sorry about that. Uh, U.S. Airways. Uh, A319 Arizona Cardinals. Um, no surprise, it's come from Phoenix, Arizona. It's like 495. We'll be heading back out to there. It's 488. Yeah, as you can see, it's getting um, heavy servicing. Now, for this right now, I'm using that stairs shut to the gate because I don't have like a jet bridge yet. The Southwest does have a jet bridge. Um, this has come in from San Jose as flight 349. We'll be heading to Las Vegas as flight 349. Southwest 7700, Illinois 1. Beautiful model. Then way back there uh, at Terminal 2, uh, Virgin Atlantic 747 400. Oh, sorry. Skip the Hawaiian by accident. Uh, Hawaiian AC30 200. Getting heavy servicing. Uh, it's coming from Honolulu as flight four, and we'll be heading out to Honolulu as, Honolulu as flight one. Uh, Virgin Atlantic seven four seven four hundred, uh, flight seven from Heathrow, flight eight to back to Heathrow. Um, Air Tahiti, no, yep, Air New Zealand, triple uh, seven three hundred yard Hobbit. 
Um, beautiful model, guys. Phoenix, too. Very detailed. Um, that is just coming from uh, Auckland as Flight 6. We'll be heading back out to Auckland later as Flight 5. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much how it's going to go. Uh, Auckland, I'm going to probably do like Auckland, Los Angeles, uh, London Heathrow, London Heathrow, Los Angeles, Auckland, or Auckland to Auckland. It just depends what I decide to do. But I can finally do, have, I finally have an Air New Zealand now. Anyway, here's a hitting Nui, uh, A340, 300, uh, just pushing back. Um, we'll be heading out to Paris as Flight 8, and it came in from uh, Tahiti or Fa as Flight uh, 8 2. Lufthansa 748 uh, just come in from uh, Frankfurt as Flight 456, and we'll be heading back out to Frankfurt as 457 later. As you can see, it's just coming in there. I'm going to start unloading the cargo and baggage and everything. Uh, China Eastern A340-600, uh, Shanghai uh, Expo 2010, um, just coming from uh, uh, Shanghai is flight fourth, uh, 543, and we'll be heading back out to back out to Shanghai as flight 586. So yeah, now here's a, it's a sad day at LAX, guys. Uh, Korean Air 747 400 it's last flight into LAX today. That's why I'm doing this video. It's my second attempt at the update, but I am going to be doing it now. Um, yeah, so it's, sadly this is the last flight of the 744. I don't have an A380, so I'm going to have to continue using this, but in real life this is the last flight for the 744. The, the A380 will be taking over. So, um, yeah. This is coming from Seoul as flight 11, and we'll be heading back out for the last flight uh, as flight 12 to Seoul. Air China, uh, triple, uh, 737 700, uh, flight uh, 987 from Beijing via Anchorage, and we'll be heading back out to, nine, to Beijing via Anchorage as flight 984. BA 400. Uh, uh, came in from Heathrow as flight 269 and will be heading back out to Heathrow as flight 268. Beautiful Thai 777-300ER uh, with antennas, Phoenix malls. Just pulling into the gate, the jet bridge is going up to it and everything, and the car, the service vehicles. Uh, it's coming from Seoul as flight uh, 692. I'll be heading back out to Seoul as 693 later on. Uh, Emirates 777-300ER, um, uh, just coming from Dubai, as uh, flight uh, 215, 215, and we'll be heading back out to Dubai as 216. And then my Malaysia 777-200ER, um, this has come from Narita as flight 292, and as you can see it's just getting the last bit of cargo on. I'm going to be pushing back soon to um, Narita's flight 283, no, sorry. So that's, that completes the free internationals at the T Tom Bradley International Terminal. Um, we're going to go on to the Americans now. It's a very busy time at the American Terminal, as you can see. I have some of the uh, non jet jets, just the plastic malls. I'm using these because I need to use them for routes. So if you were wondering why, that's why. I'm using some of these plastic malls for the fact that I can get the routes out of them. Anyway, AA737-8, uh, the gate, as you can see, I'm using a stair strip for those two. Anyway, um, this is coming from uh, Las Vegas as Flight 1586, and we'll be heading back out to Toronto as Flight 1586. So yeah, AA752, um, this is coming from Boston as flight 143, and we'll be heading out to Miami as flight uh, 280. But right now, it's uh, the tug is at it to be uh, pushed back and actually pulled to this gate after the American leaves. Um, this American 752 is uh, do operating the Lihu route. Um, 
It's coming as flight 286 and we'll be heading out back out to Liu as flight 265. Um, AA triple seven two hundred uh, ER uh, being pushed back for Narita's flight uh, one six nine. So then the AA seven five two will come there. Delta seven three nine operating a seven three eight route right now. It's going to be it's come from North Kentucky as flight one nine three three, and we'll be heading out to Nashville as flight nine three four. Delta seven five two. Uh, coming coming in from San Jose, Costa Rica, as flight uh, 466, and we'll be heading back out there to San Jose as flight uh, 465. Uh, Delta 777 200LR uh, just come in the gates being moved to the plane. It's coming from Tokyo. Uh, oh, sorry, coming from Atlanta as flight 1555. And we'll be heading out to uh, Norwich's flight 283. Over to the United now. Sorry about that. Um, we have United 762 operating the Houston LAX route in place of the 787. Uh, so it's coming from Houston and going to Houston. I don't have the flight numbers for these, sorry. Um, anyway, United A319. Uh, new model, one of my other, yeah, another one of my new models. Um, just coming from San Fran, uh, coming from San Francisco as flight 479. And we'll be, be heading back out there as flight 318 to San Francisco. Uh, United 752 uh, is going to be heading out to Denver as flight 209. Uh, okay, over here on the taxiway, Aerologic 777-200LRF, uh, coming from, it came in as flight 412 from Frankfurt, and be heading out to Frankfurt as flight 411. Uh, Delta 763, um, this is coming from Detroit as flight 176, last 1706, and we'll be heading back out there as the same flight number, 1706. United 787, I mean, sorry, oh jeez, I messed up today, sorry, um, United 738, um, come, it came in from Guadalajara as flight 1538, at the, and it came from the gate where the United 819 is, um, we'll be heading out to Cleveland as flight 1083, and then United 747400, beautiful model, um, Come in from Sydney as flight 840, and we'll be heading back out there later on. So it's going to go to that double gate there. Um, this 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 route will be um, sadly replaced next year by the 777, but at least I have them all for now. Looks really cool. Um, now here at the hangar and stand, we have Qantas A380. Um, flight 93 came in from Melbourne. And we'll be heading back out to Melbourne in about an hour and a half to two hours as flight 94. So it came in at the BA gate and we'll be pulled back there after the BA leaves. Um, FedEx 777-200LR uh, uh, freighter um, came from Anchorage uh, for maintenance here at LAX and we'll be heading out to Memphis after. This usually does Asian routes like from Hong Kong to Anchorage and Hong Kong to Memphis or you know like Tokyo to Memphis or whatever but today it's stopping it stopped here for maintenance at the FedEx hangar so yeah and the last plane now guys uh, is the KLM 777 uh, 200, 300 ER um, operating 747 400 route as flight uh, 601 from Amsterdam that's what it came in as and it's departing out now on 25 right um, uh, to Amsterdam is flight 026 so yeah guys that, that completes it for the update sad news of the Korean Air um, now just to talk about some other stuff um, oh yeah this is on a this is on short final now as you know you can see United um, I'm not getting the American 7 777-300ER in the new 
livery. I know a lot of people, not everyone's pretty, a lot of people have got it and they say it's a nice model, but I realized it's not as detailed as I thought. It's missing some key features as the 777 300R does. Like, for instance, you see how the KLM has this, uh, this marking right here, it, like for the emergency exit, it doesn't have that. It only has a black line, it doesn't have antennas, or it doesn't have rolling landing gear. So I decided I wasn't going to get it. Because hopefully Gemini Jets or Phoenix will release, re, well, hopefully Gemini Jets will re-release one with like better, with more detail and stuff. Um, also, uh, looks like the September releases are going to be promising as in terms of AA, as it looks like there's going to be a 762 or seven, sorry, sorry, 763 with winglets maybe in the new uh, new livery. So hopefully that will come out, and I'm definitely going to get that then. Um, I just want to say I have two new models on order. Um, one is the Singapore A380. And the second one is the United 787. So I will have my first Gemini Jet 787 United, um, or first Gemini Jet 787. Um, and I'll have my first Singapore, and I'll be an A380 too. So that that'll pretty much complete my United fleet in terms of like heavies, I guess. But no, I because I have the triple uh, triple seven two. I just need the 7.5.2 and a 7.6, but I'm not too concerned. I need to work on my Delta and American fleet right now, and possibly my like uh, low-cost U.S. airlines like Spirit, JetBlue, um, Allegiant, uh, so and maybe another, and hopefully another Southwest. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this update. As you can hear, I have the ATC plane. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I hopefully I'm gonna order. I'll be ordering the gates, um, one pack of gates, and I'll probably get the one pack of gates in the American when it comes out, and possibly another two packs of gates uh, later on, like for maybe for Christmas or uh, hopefully maybe in November or sometime. I'm not sure yet, but I really need them for hair. And for the Americans and the Deltas and too. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I I mean, there's nothing more to talk about really, except for the sad news of the Korean Air. Um, yeah. Right now, I know you guys are probably like cargo. I need. I know I need more cargo, but. I only have a small area and I need to focus on my passenger carriers right now so yeah anyway guys hope you've enjoyed thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos bye